What up guys, it's Drew and I'm back at it. I'm here with my boy Matt today and we are both going to get a little bit of content today. We're in, we're at the same park I was at the last time I went diving, but this is hole 18 on the second course. Matt has actually lost a disc here. And so we are going to be going into these waters, uh, which may be a little bit sketchier uh, because it goes all the way down there. But Matt lost a disc somewhere like right around here. He really wants it back. And this man has scuba gear. So he is going all in today. As you can see, I'll get you a little clip of him before he goes in. But he has got the tank. He's got the, the whatever it's called, the, the hoses and everything, the breathers. And so I'm just going to kind of like go in with my goggles again and see if I can find anything while he's scuba guy diving. But it's going to be fun. Let's see what we can find. scuba -ing up here, as you can see, setting up the rig, got the got the uh what's it called wetsuit on almost ready to go i got my sandals on today all right i think i'm gonna take the first step in today there's definitely some fish I'm trying to see how deep it is right here there's like some rock i already see a disc i'm stepping in it's pretty deep it's pretty deep Hopefully there's no gators. Let's see, can you guys see that? There's definitely a disc right here. Nope, that's not a disc. All right, that's in the water, as you can see right here with this whole scuba gear. I can't see anything because it's so murky. So I'm just stepping around, seeing if I can feel for one. But Matt is going to go down to the bottom and try to start reaching around. See what he can find, so I'm gonna follow him. Oh, I'm gonna go down. Got one! Oh, nice. Let's see. Oh, come on. Oh. All right, Champion Boss. This one does not have a name on it. There's it's completely. It's like a nice it is. It's a distance driver. It's a good one. All right, Matt found the first disc of the day. All right. Matt just found two more. Let's see what we got. There's no visibility though, right? It's just yeah, going to the, the bottom? Visibility is zero. Yeah. Really just... It's just going to the bottom. And it's dark up there. Hold on, hold on. Don't yeah, don't throw them. Okay, so right here. I can't even see that. T-Bird, an Innova Ricky Wysocki T-Bird 3, that's a good one, and then a super old Polaris, long driver. I found a Cobra, just by feeling around. There's no name on it. So this will be a good right, Matt just came up. He found some more. Woo! Three discs. Let me see. Uh, All right, throw them this way. All three with no numbers on them, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got an extra Latitude 64. Explorer. Dang, we got a streamlined drift. That's a nice one. It's a nice fairway driver. And this is a no name. No brand, probably an Innova by the feel of it, but there we go, there's four more. All right, so we got an Escape, Lucid, we got a Volt Clip, that one's clean, fairway driver with a name on it, and then we got an Innova Destroyer. Nice, so I'll put yours to the left and then put that down to the right. Mm -hmm. There's no Amoebas in here. I gotta cool fix my camera here. Orion. Serious Millennium, long, straight, super diver, no name, going in the bag. This one's pretty cool. It says hole in one. In 2020, that's pretty cool. It's got a name on it. 
I don't know how much footage you guys are going to be able to see down there, but I'm free diving, just closing my eyes and putting my hands at the bottom. These gloves are helping compared to last time, like uh, just using my, my hands. The gloves are helping like filter through plants and things, but I'm having fun, so that's all that matters. I'm not going to find one, but okay, I'll get one. Let's see. Alright, let's see. We got a Tempest distance driver with a name on it. Okay. We got a, we got a bolt. This is a nice burst distance driver lab 264 with a name on it. We got an Innova Star Valkyrie. This one's been here for a while, you can just tell by the there's a the name. And then we got the Insanity no Proton Plastic. This one's clean, no name. Going in the this bag. is a freaking clean disc. I love the Proton Plastic ones. That's what I use for my forehand driver. Do you want me to, do you want me to hook All right. I just, just free dived again and found a Pro Boss and a Ricky Waisaki Star Destroyer. No name on it. So that's cool. Right there. So that's what we're looking at. Matt finds. I finds. So pretty cool. All right. The of the lake is definitely All right, bring them over. Let's see what you got. This is all over. All right. We got a Prism Insanity with a name. We got we got a Joel Freeman Gator Three Innova. Looks like no name. Oh no, there is a name, but the number's kind of faded. So we'll see if we can read that. Prodigy F3 fairway driver, big name. Yeah. Uh, Challenge 2016, something with a name. In essence, this is nice. This is a clean disc. Someone probably just lost this, Cameron. Yeah. It's a seriously beautiful day out. The weather is just amazing. I'm pretty winded from free diving, so I'm taking a break. Matt is under the water somewhere, so we'll see when he comes up, what he's got. Here's Matt. You got anything? Yeah. I got a couple. Or a few. Bro, I don't know what that was. I was using this stick, feeling around the butt, you know? Yeah. Like this. And then I went over here, and I felt like, I'm not even kidding, I felt like something hard. And then I touched it, and it like moved out. But it wasn't a quick, a quick fit. Maybe like a big log or something? Yeah. Perfect. All right, Matt's got some, some bounces here, so Woo! let's see what he got this time. We got a Max Axiom. Nice. No name. Freaking nice mid-range. We got a big thing open. This has a name on it. Gabriel, gonna get your disc back. An Innova Boss disc. And a Vandal Trilogy. This is pretty cool. And no name on this Vandal. It's a nice little trilogy diver. <laughs> There's Matt. <laughs> it is. All right, so right here, you're going to see Matt pull a disc out of the lake, and this was his long-lost Prodigy D4. He's so happy that he found it. If you guys want the full story, make sure you go check out his version of this video on his YouTube channel. Link in the description. All right, we are done for the day. Matt found his freaking Pro D4 in the lake as his last dive. These are all the discs that I found. These are all the discs that Matt found. And we will be contacting every disc that has a name on it and offering to ship it back to them. And so let's go, guys. I Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, forty four discs. Six shy of fifty. Forty four discs. That is crazy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along. 
We are actually going to clean up and then go play some disc golf with some friends. So if you guys are interested in that content, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll start adding some disc golf content to the channel as well. All right, we just got back to Matt's house and we're cleaning off all the discs with the hose. And uh, I'm just going to call call one of these guys. This one right here seemed like probably one of the nicer discs, the Champion Firebird. And it's got the name on it. So I'm just going to call this guy and see if he answers. So let's give it a shot. Hi, is this Kevin? Uh, yes, is this? Hi, Kevin. My name's uh, Andrew Friedman. I'm a uh, local disc golf player here in Orlando. And uh, I was with my friend Matt today, and we uh, we went disc diving in one of the lakes at Barnett Park in Orlando and came up with one of your discs and wanted to uh, see if I could send it back to you. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm assuming hole 18, probably. Yeah, yeah, it sure was, yep. Yeah, either that or I can I can ship it out to you. It's only like six six or seven bucks i think to ship a to ship a disc first class if, if that would be easier for you if you want it back it's uh i'm sure you know which one it is champion champion firebird yeah it was a uh, is that like a, the the rainbow colored one kind of like the pink bright one yeah yeah pink and green yeah yeah it's a sweet disc um yeah sure i can i can do it like that i can send you my address i'll i, I can send you like an extra couple bucks too as well Hey man, well that'd be awesome. I, I appreciate that. You don't have to do that though. Either way, I'll 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 shoot you a text here and, and get this one sent back to you. Okay, cool. I appreciate it, man. Cool, man. I'll send, I'll send you my address right now. Yeah, no problem. Have a good day. All right, thank you, man. You too. All right, bye. Like he was skeptical when I first called him because he didn't know my number. He's like, "Hello." I'm like, "Hi, is this Kevin?" He's like, "Yeah, who's this?" So it's really cool though that you know I'm able to reunite these. And he even said on the phone right there that he had like three other lost discs in that lake. So um, on one of the other holes, which we will do eventually as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. We're going to get to calling and texting all the numbers and we'll see how many we can get returned. All right, it's a couple days later and I have messaged everybody for their discs and I actually had one guy who lives locally that wants to meet up. So I'm about to meet him at a grocery store near my house, hand deliver him his disc and we'll see if he pays me or not or just says thank you. Either way, I'm happy to return the discs, but it's always nice to get a few bucks as a tip. So we'll see what happens. All right, so here I am walking up to this gentleman's car and uh, he was just super thrilled when I was able to give him his disc back. He was so happy. He asked me to meet like as soon as I texted him, which was pretty cool. But he was telling me a really interesting story about how he actually lost this disc in the water and it was gone for two years and then he got it back and then he threw it back in the water and I was able to reunite him with it again. All right, another disc going back to its owner right now. Obviously, I won't put the address in the video, but here you go, Ryan. I hope you enjoy your disc. I'm glad I was able to get it back to you. I'm shipping it out now.